To get the rune of detonation, do nightmare incursion until you are friendly. You can buy this rune at any incursion NPC. For focus fire rune, go to the Searing George at this spot. You will see a branch with the nest on it. Load the egg from the nest. After few seconds, enraged Stormcrow will spawn. He is level 45 normal mob. Kill it and load the focus fire rune. For a rapid killing rune, go to Searing George to this cave on the west side. If you are solo, I recommend that you run in as far as you can and die. If you can, rest next to this stone on the top. You will aggro a lead, so just trap it or summon pet to aggro it while you click on the stone and accept the quest. Or you can rest in safe spot and clear mobs around, as water elementals are not elites, so they are easy to kill. Once you take the quest, go to the Belasted Lands to this spot. Turn in the quest to Blood Mage Lenore, and take the chains that bind the quest. Now you have to load 5 infernal chain links from Shadow Sworn NPCs, that can be found on either east or west side of the map. This is not 100% chance drop rate, so you will probably have to kill around 10 to 15. After you have all 5, go back to Blood Mage and take the next quest. Now you will have to find Corehound and kill it. It can be found at these spots right here. Both times I found him, he was more to the south. Once he is at 1 health, use Infernal Lasso to kill him. Go back to Blood Mage and you will get the rune and another Infernal Lasso. You can use this lasso to make Corhound tameable if you would like to use it as a pet. For Raptor Fury rune, go to Tenaris to this spot on the map. You need to find this elite bird. He pets around this spot. He is 43 level elite, so you can kill it even as level 40 BM Hunter. However, you will probably aggro mobs around him, so make sure to clear them if you are low level. Kill him and loot the rune. For cat like reflexes rune, go to Feralas and buy soft banana bread from an NPC at the inn. Then go to this Yeti cave right here. First go through this tunnel and then into the cave. Fight your way through and talk with Grodok Infant. Now you have to escort him to this spot right here. He will aggro mobs, so make sure you kill any mob he aggros. Once you escort him to this gorilla NPC, you can talk to it for cat-like reflexes rune. For lock and load rune, go to Felwood and take the Wild Gods quest from Shadow to Temissary. You don't have to do this next step as anyone in your party can have this item and you will be able to continue with quest chain. Go to Hinterlands to Jinta Alor and kill elite trolls until they drop Wild Whisper Drought. 
They are a bit harder to kill, so you will spend some time here if you are solo. It took me around 30 to 45 minutes to get this item. Next you will go to Razor Fan Downs dungeon. You will need at least couple of more people with you. Tank is recommended. Kill Amnenar the Coldbringer and use Wild Whisper Draught. Anyone from your party can use it and giant boar will spawn that will give you next quest. Now you need to get 3 wild offerings and you can get them from either Maraudon, Blackrock Depths or Zulfarak. You can do all 3 or just spam one of them. I decided to go with Zulfarak. In there you have to kill at least 3 bosses and this will spawn Ghostly Spider at the end of this dungeon close to the pool. Use the item you received from Boar in order for Spider to be targetable. Kill it and loot wild offering. Do this 3 times to get 3 wild offerings. Return to Felwood and turn in the quest to Shadow Tooth Emissary to get Lock and Load Rune. Thank you for watching and consider giving video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more videos and guides.